ready to match the stars. Jimmy Walker, Brett Summer, Charles Nelson Riley, Elaine Joyce, Richard Dawson, and Marsha Walker as we play the star-studded Big Bunny match game 76. And now, here's the star of match game 76, Gene Rayner. How are you, John? Good. And how's everybody up here? Oh, and down you. here? We all, you always ask us how we are. How are you? I'll tell you how I am. Oh, uh, no tongues. <laughs> <laughs> what did she say? No tongues? <laughs> now would I do that? I, yes. Yeah, no, yes. I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. If you're all... Jimmy, what are you doing? I'm just matching pens. You're matching pens? Matching pens as best I can at a, a mental... Uh, efficiency test that they put me Listen, through. Listen, how are you rolling along in good times? Everything I'm okay? I'm rolling fine. Yes. Now, before we start, would you say the word and get it out of their system? Dynamite! Thank you. <laughs> Marshall, what's your word? What's my word? You have a word, a key yeah. word? Lint. Lint. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> we'll watch her on the Bob Newhart <laughs> Show. And now let's say hello to Denise Asola and Mickey Bettis there. Denise is our current champ. She's won one game. She has $600, right? And uh, she's being challenged here by Mickey. Mickey, you've had your two questions, haven't you? Unfortunately. Yes. <laughs> so the score at this moment is tied. And when we give you your second round question, that's a final round, all you have to do is match one person and you win the game. Come back and see how that turns out in one minute and five seconds. Here we go. Bing, 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 there it is. That's all yours. Listen carefully. All you have to do is match one celebrity and you win. Brett, you do not play. Because uh, she matched you in the first round. <laughs> Kathy said, Every girl who went to Roger's New Year's Eve party got blank. Oh. <laughs> and I was there! First in line! Here's a good answer. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But, uh, but, uh, gotcha. Where is your? Uh, yes. It's close enough. It's close enough. It's close, close enough. enough. The correct spelling really is this. But spelling doesn't count on this program. You are very smart. That's oh, excellent. Oh, I'm very smart. I have a little bit of knowledge about many things and not much knowledge about any one thing. Here we go. You can swing that and ride to Mickey Bettis. Oh, I beg your pardon. <laughs> it's Denise. Kathy said every girl who went to Roger's New Year's Eve party got... There's so many. <laughs> so many girls? No. <laughs> um, drunk? Oh. Mickey, you may have a chance. All right. Drunk is what she said. Drunk. Every girl who went to Roger's New Year's Eve party got drunk. Now, drunk is, you know, that uh, happens at New Year's Eve She's parties. She's from Vegas. What do you want? Yeah. <laughs> no, I, 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 I said kiss. I just didn't name the place. Yes. All right. Every girl got kissed. Leave them alone. Did you see that skinny body? That slim body, Brett. What do you say, Brett? <laughs> I say go right on to Charles because I'm not playing and I'm what not going to tell Charles? you again. I, I didn't spell it right. You corrected my spelling because I was born here and I didn't have a governess and had very poor education. In French, enceinte, enceinte which means is right. pregnant judge. Yes, right. <laughs> okay. Now, Elaine, every girl who went to Roger's New Year's Eve party got... I translated from French into English, pregnant. Okay. okay. And Roger was something else. <laughs> yes, he was. <laughs> and you, sir? I use the medical term preggy. Preggy. Yes. All the doctors call it that all the time there. Now, he, uh, she's looking for the uh, answer drunk. What do you say? Well, it was between pinned or pregnant. Pinned or pregnant, and that was it. So... By Jove, this game ends up in a tie. And here we go. You see how it is, Mickey? You never know about this show. 
Now what we do is we wipe the slate clean here. We've got two tiebreaker questions here. One for each of you. The one who scores the most will be the winner. Mickey, what is your choice? A. All right. A, here it is. Unlucky Louie bought a rabbit's foot. Just his luck. The rabbit's foot had blank. <laughs> Unlucky Louie bought a rabbit's foot. Mm, just his luck. The rabbit's foot had blank. Oh, there were two oh, wonderful sure. answers. To Aren't that. there? Yes. I That's think, a good question. I think I'm going to take my second choice. Oh, yes. sure. Sure. Right. Very good. You're thinking, right, Jimmy? 131 pounds of intellect. Of dynamite. Right. <laughs> That's a terrible. Put it in a slot. Leave him alone. Stop molesting my friend. <laughs> okay, everybody set. We come over here to Mickey Bettis. Unlucky Louie bought a rabbit's foot. Just his luck. The rabbit's foot had... Athlete's foot. Athlete's foot. How <laughs> Jimmy, she said athlete's foot. She can say whatever she wants. The mic was open and she said it. <laughs> what did you say? Your mic I, is open. My mic is open and the black prince ensconces his answer as no hair. Just as like the rabbit's foot had no hair. You well, mean the right. kingdom is rebelling? That's right. <laughs> now, before you continue booing him, would you like to explain that rotten answer? <laughs> No, no. See, if the, if the rabbit's foot has no hair, then it doesn't have his lucky streak in it. Because oh, you must have the hair from the worldly travels. Oh, of I see. Okay, gotcha. All right. All right, Brett, you're up. I thought I had a terrific answer, but that's wonderful. I said the little devil had fleas. Fleas. Oh, of course, fleas. Charles, man, <laughs> you. Now you see, America, it's club soda. Club soda is what it is. Yes, Charles. <laughs> Yeah, but the club soda ain't in the glass. <laughs> Sir, How the tie falls off. Come to order, please. Any lovely girl like Miss Mickey Bettis who wears <laughs> who wears a bed jacket on a show deserves a correct answer. I vote for athletes. Athlete's foot. Foot. Okay. <laughs> That's something Mandarin. That's right. It's not a bed jacket. It's well, the newest style. It is. It looks like a bed jacket, though. Just as luck, the rabbit's foot had blank, and she said athlete's foot. I said athlete's foot, too. Good for you. That's true for you, Mickey. Was this a diseased foot? Well, actually, the medical term for a rabbit is athlete's paw. Athlete's paw, of course. She's looking for a little athlete's foot. <laughs> well, I'm thrilled that I matched Richard, whom I consider to be a clever person, although I'm probably a better bowler. Athlete's paw. <laughs> <call. laughs> okay, that's four for her. Now, you've got to go some here, Denise. You ready? Listen carefully. This is it. Oh, I changed your mind. Then do a commercial. I will put this right back here while we do this commercial. Yes, sir. Anything you say, we are at the second call. Come right back. We are ready. Let's see if we break this tie. You ready, Denise? Got a match four to achieve another tie. Five will win another game. That'll be your second game. Marvin mm -hmm. has been out of the army for ten years. Good gravy. But every morning, he still blanks. <laughs> Marvin has been out of the army for ten years, but every morning he still blanks. <laughs> Oh, I love my answer. <laughs> okay. Um. There, you got a good one. Put it in the slot there, buddy. Sorry. No, no. No, no, that bad. No, no, that's bad. <laughs> that nothing to do with our show. Hang on. We're just... Oh, there's a number of good choices there. That's a beaut. All right, put them in the slot. You can't think of anything. Gosh, well, you can I? Take this one. Use that. Blank, blank. Yeah, put that one in there. Yeah, it says it. Marvin has been out of the army for ten years. Every morning he's still blank. Yeah, that's got a good one. I knew it. 
There we go. I got everybody to respond. Put in the slot, Marcia. Don't argue with ah. me. I'm gonna... Denise, heart. Marvin has been out of the army for 10 years, but every morning he still blanks. He uh, still gets up. <laughs> he still gets up to do his um, exercises, calisthenics. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye forever. Goodbye. 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 Aloha. Aloha. No, let's get the responses first. Jimmy, she you says never know. every morning he still does his calisthenics. Sarinara. <laughs> <laughs> Salutes! Salute! <laughs> All right, Brett. I said, picks up his socks and salutes. <laughs> All right. Now, you got to match everybody else to stay in the game. Charles. I'm sorry. I said, makes his bed. Makes his bed. Makes <laughs> All right. Come on down, Mickey. All right, you hang around here, will you? Oh, 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 oh. You gonna hang around here? Okay, you hang around here a little while here while I say goodbye to Denise. Denise has uh, won $600, and she has some plans for that money, and she's going back to Las Vegas, a happier girl than she was when she came here. Denise is so Thank you. Goodbye. Come over here. Now. Here it is. This thing just whirled itself around here, and we're ready for you if you're ready for it. I don't know if I am. <laughs> yes, you are. Just hang on here, and let me tell you how it goes. We polled a recent studio audience, Mickey, and we got their best response to this. <laughs> Blank. Bam. Now, the answer that audience gave most often is worth $500 to you if you match it. Now, if you match the second most frequently given answer, you get $250. <laughs> If you match the third, you get $100. Now, whom do you call on for a little help here? Richard. What, what I'm going to give Jean for Christmas. What's that? It's a little doll called Bam Bam. Really? Yeah, that's the Flintstone family. You wouldn't know about it, but it's very The Flintstone funny. family. There's Pebbles and Bam Bam. Bam Bam. I didn't want to say the other one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. One more. Charles. I have been on this program for four long years. <laughs> yeah. Two and a half. Two it was and a difficult half. to match blank Arthur, blank yeah. whatever. Yes. Blank Bam wins the prize. <laughs> yes. I will go with my new hit record, The Bim Bam Man. <laughs> What is it? What are you saying? No, wait a minute. You're talking like it's Smith or Doe up there. It's Bam. My hit record, which you can get at all your stores. Bim Bam Man. <laughs> Bim Bam. Or as we say, Bam O Might. <laughs> which will be sweeping the country in about an hour. A problem okay. with a broom. Bim Bam. That's his answer. Um, Brett. Well, <laughs> just having so many answers that it's so difficult to choose. Why don't I just go with Slam Bam? <laughs> slam Bam. And then we want you to know, see the producers yes, immediately no, in the in dressing our room. Offices. Now hold on. We may there may be some revelations here as we slide these uh, cards okay. aside. Here. I doubt it. But, and <laughs> if there are no interesting revelations, we're going to get him out here and tell him to give us some good suggestions okay. here. There, right? I'd like to hear him. Too. I'd like to too. It does seem impossible to me. What? If he has any one of them that finishes, thank you, ma'am. I'm going to hit him. <laughs> <laughs> now, you've got slam, bim, and bam. <laughs> Slam bam, bim bam, and bam bam. What a choice. <laughs> Don't get me mixed up now, Mickey. What do you want? Have I'll you got a better idea in your head? Heavens no. <laughs> what? I'll try bam bam. You try bam bam? Okay. We are looking for bam bam. Let's begin down at the bottom and reveal the $100 number. Bim bam. All right, Charles. You can get it at your record store. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We are looking for Bam Bam. Here is the $250 number. 
Wham bam. This is wham bam. Well, I'll be darned. Never heard that. All right. Here's the last chance for Bam Bam. Earl Slide It. Bam Bam it is. I don't believe it. You know. You know your bands. Well, I'll be darned. Were there any other possibilities there? Alabam? Alabam! No, From the I record of the same name. It was a tough one, but you did it, and you did it very well. You and Richard got your ESP going there, and you figured out what that audience said. Now you're going to play for 10 times 500 or $5,000. Oh, now you've got to match one of them. Which one will it be? Richard did on the last one. I'll do it with him again. Okay. <laughs> bam, bam. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He'd like to do it with you again. There. That's right. Stand right there on that little mark there and face me. Okay, here we go. It's worth $5,000. Concentrate real hard now. Get those thought waves going over to Richard. Tree blank. That's T-R-E-E -E blank. Tree blank. Now he's finished. Okay, Mickey Betts, we need an answer from you which will match his. What do you say to that? Tree blank. First thing I thought of was trunk. Tree trunk. <laughs> Tree trunk. All right. Well, now we'll call on Richard and ask him to reveal his answer because if you match him, you collect the $5,000. Go. I was thinking what you told us is you just moved into a new house. A tree house. Yeah. Tree house is good. What other answers were there? Tree top. Tree top. Tree surgeon. Yeah. What Number about good tree choices. bim or tree bam? Tree bam, tree bam or bam? What about tree bam. Tree bam. Tree bam. Tree bam. Boom. Boom. Tree bam. Boom. Okay, Mickey. We're gonna uh, have a little message here now of commercial interest. And then you're gonna meet your new opponent. Come right back. Today's consolation prizes are the original Mr. Coffee and genuine Mr. Coffee filter. Joe DiMaggio says it's the greatest automatic coffee brewing system ever. And a radio and finger licking good Kentucky Fried Chicken and all the fixings. A real meal that's real goodness and only from Kentucky Fried Chicken. And a shopper's tote from Parsons Ammonia. Freshens every room, walls to windows, costs little, cleans a lot. Parsons, America's number one selling ammonia. You know the rest, but what I like best is doodle doo blank. And we'll have a sound when Match Game 76 continues in a minute. Now, we're ready to start another game. You want to play another game? Yeah. Well, then let's introduce a new player here, Puanani Kane Deck. Please tell us about yourself. Well, first of all, I'd like to compliment you on how well you said my name. It sounded very nice. Oh, aren't you nice? Puanani. And That's a pretty I'm, name, isn't it? Thank you. I'm originally from Hawaii. Yes. And my family and I moved here to uh, California. We live in Palos Verdes now. I have four children, one husband, one dog, and one fish. <laughs> one husband, one dog, and one fish. All right, Puanani, good luck to you. We ask you to make a selection here, A or B? I'll take A. All right, new game everybody plays. Lois Lane said... Oh, good. Uh, she said, no, I'm positive that Clark Kent is Superman. I set off a bomb in Clark's blank, and he, he didn't even say ouch. <laughs> Here's the blank. He didn't get us a blank. And said, Listen to it again. She says, now I'm positive that Clark Kent is Superman. I set off a bomb in Clark's blank, and he didn't even say ouch. Oh. You know, I don't want to hurt your feelings, but when you do girls, yes. you get a little more sissy than you do feminine. <laughs> don't listen to her. She's all wet. I'm talking just the way you're talking now, right? <laughs> That's the way girls talk. That's isn't it? right. It's true, it's true. That's, That's right. right. <laughs> and then they giggle. And then they giggle. And wet your lips. And wet your lips. <laughs> Now I'm positive that Clark Kent is Superman because We're ready. when I said, oh, We're ready. oh, you're ready. Well, I'm not. Oh, okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. Here we go. She said, Brett, I thought you said you were ready. I am ready. You didn't tell me what you had in mind. That's why I can't remember. Lois Lane said, now I'm positive that Clark Kent is Superman. I set off a bomb in Clark's blank and he didn't even say ouch. Pants. In his pants. 
She said pants. I said bim. No. <laughs> I said uh, rear end. Rear end. Which are in the pants. Shut up. All right. What do you think? No match. All right, Brett. Good times have now become bad times, baby. I said trousers. Trousers. <laughs> There's one. Charles. I said in American pants, but in the words of the island, Pantahua. Pantahua. <laughs> Go ahead, Elaine. Show and tell. I said, um, gee, I said super suit. Super I, uh, suit. Because well, he wears okay. tights. I didn't yes, know. I said pocket. You I'm said sorry. pocket. Yeah, well, that's close to pants. It was the same idea. What'd you say? A trifle obscure and wrong. I said phone booth. Yeah! Phone booth is what I would have said, too. Ah! Yes, indeed. Okay, so that's two for you, Puanani, and we'll get to your first one round question when we get to it. But right now, we got to get to this. Thank you all. Next week when we're together again, and I hope we will be together, these are the people who will be on this very stage. Bill Daly, Brett Summers, Charles Nelson Riley, Lee Merriweather, Richard Dawson, and Fanny Clark. Team Labor and Match Game 76, goodbye. This is Johnny Olsen speaking for Match Game 76, a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production. Stay tuned for Tattletales next over most of the CBS...